This video chart presentation in Galena Biopharma. Galena is a NASDAQ capital market stock trading our ticker GALE. This chart clearly had a real nice climb in 2012, bottoming out in December around 36 cents. Basically 10 bagger sort of mentality all the way up to 354. Pulled back from those highs. Real nice support level around $1.20, holding over top of the 200 day moving average. And back on the climb. I think this is an interesting chart to keep an eye on from here forward to see if it's going to continue to hold. I want to see it staying over top of these long-term moving averages. Try and take out a resistance point up here around $1.90. MACD is in a nice uptrend. Histogram bars look like they're ready to break back through zero. It tells me another bullish cross could be happening. ADX in a real nice position, making higher lows. Of course, I want to see it make some higher highs and break through 30. The ADX above 30 is referenced as being in trending mode, and it just solidifies the strength of the upward pressure. Money flow index, holding bullish position. As with most indicators, you want to see it trending on the upper half to be considered bullish. Accumulation distribution is actually not in a great position. In a little bit of a downward trend, it has basically flatlined over the course of three, four months. But over the last month and a half, it does look like there's a little bit more selling pressure than buying pressure. And part of the reason that is, is because of these black candles. Stock gaps up in the morning, but then closes back down lower than it opened. It's just indicative of a little bit of selling pressure, even though the stock still closes higher than the previous day's close. That's also reflected in the shake and money flow. Not too far from zero, which tells you buying pressure and selling pressure are somewhat equal, but the fact that it is in negative territory tells me the selling pressure is still just a little bit greater than the buying pressure. So getting a little bit of mixed signals from the indicators, even though the stock has been trending upward. The CCI just now punching through 100. For definition of the CCI, that's a buy signal. Full Stowe has shown that over the last three, four weeks, some momentum has come out of this play, but it has rotated. And I'd be looking for a break back through 50 to show some strong momentum. Tricks like the MACDs trending upward, higher lows, higher highs. That does indicate there's a bullish trend going on. Of course, those things are moving right along with the chart rising. And that's to be expected, but I always look at those indicators anyways to make sure that there's not some real strong negative divergences, which would signal perhaps the stocks would try and break back downward. RSIs are holding the upper half of the indicator. Again, that says bullish momentum is holding in the chart. For me, it would be important to see that red and gold lines the 14 and 21 RSIs holding over top of 50. A break back down through 50 shows that the momentum is really coming out of the play. Similar to right through here. When those long-term RSIs fell underneath 50, price per share fell off significantly. As I mentioned, a big component to me is holding over top of the 50 and 200 day moving averages. The most bullish of charts, price per share is trending over top of both of them, and they're both trending upward. What I'd be looking for from a static support level is right through this area, $1.63, $1.60, had a tough time punching through that on the breakout. Finally did. Even when it dipped back down, it held $1.50. That would be the low end that I'd want to see on support. If it can't hold that, the odds of it coming back down here near $1.20 are really increased. To the upside, resistance is starting to get pretty heavy around $1.85. And that's going to run right through to this $1.92. That would be another breakout point for me. And the upside from there is pretty substantial because I wouldn't see more resistance coming in again until about $2.45. It's obviously a sharp move from where it is, closing at $1.71 yesterday. Volume is strong, 3.2 million shares traded, that's plenty of liquidity. But the reason I picked this sort of chart is because it's basically range bound right now. And there's a lot of people that will try and play it with a buy off this support and then a sell back near this resistance because it's about a 20% move if it's caught from top to bottom. And in that case, it really helps define the range and it kind of just builds upon itself. So on any pullbacks back to support, I look for volume to start to pick up as people see it as a buying opportunity, and ideally if it can move back towards the resistance point, that's when I want to see volume explode to solidify the uptrend that actually is still trying to happen right through this area. That's the type of things that I'd be looking for in the Gale chart, but as always, it's merely my interpretation. Thank you for watching. Trade smart.